All right, all right, here we go. Gonna do a drying aid. Adams polishes detail spray and see what happens with this. I watched one with uh, Forensic Detail a few minutes ago, well, about two hours ago, and he used a detail spray, I believe from the UK, and uh, he had great results with it. And being that I love Adams Detail Spray, figured I would try it on this car today. Why not? I have plenty of that detail spray. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. Let's see what happens. This is their commercial size. It's a 32 ouncer. Most people won't need that much. I use this on tires and wheels sometimes. Uh, I use it on door seals, etc. Anytime I need to do a touch up, I use that or a waterless wash. So, what I'm going to do is just mist it on. The thing I hate about this nozzle, and I will tell you, is it shoots a a stream out on this 32 ounce dispenser when you're trying to mist it. So there's a big old loogie being spit out the tip, which I hate. I wish it did not do that. But hey, I'm just one guy. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Isn't it ironic every time something doesn't go like I think it should, I say it's, I'm probably doing something wrong. Being nice to the manufacturer. This trigger kind of sucks. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So I'm gonna try to use this Dreadnought towel by Autofiber, my favorite. No pressure and just drag it, see what happens. So far it looks good. Doesn't look streaky, but it doesn't dry quite like these guys on the video say. You ever notice that? Have any of you ever bought a towel thinking it's gonna soak up everything, it's gonna dry a whole car. I've seen people do reviews with this dreadnought. This is the standard dreadnought. They say they dry a whole car. Never gotten a whole car out of this. Even this little Honda, which I don't like. Don't like the car. It's not the car's fault though. It won't even dry this whole car and it's not a big car. So, I don't understand how these guys get a whole car out of them. But anyway, putting a little extra gloss down today. Uh, Adam's Detail Spray has Carnuba in it, which, you know, after trying so many products, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna go back to the basics, man, I swear. I'm gonna use a sealant or an SiO2 sealant and spray wax or detail spray for gloss. Cause I'm not sure that you need to go level 10 like I try to go and then you can buy retail products. You don't have to buy pro products. I've already learned that. And Adams, I put somewhere in the middle. This is a prosumer product, what I would call it, because this stuff's better than store-bought, I think, with the exception of some of the new uh, Grio stuff, some of the new Meguiar's, and then you also have Turtle Wax that's coming on hot and heavy right now. So, anyway, I'm talking away from the camera. I think that worked great. I've tried other high-end products. Don't work that good. So, here's the finish. Let me turn on my light. Can't really tell. Plenty of gloss in there. Plenty of gloss in there, guys. All this is is a detail spray as a drying aid. And I believe Adam's detail spray has a little bit of carnauba in it, so... Use a detail spray as a drying aid, give you plenty of gloss. No tricks, no games, good enough. Save yourself time and money and frustration. Wash it, put a sealant on it, use a drying aid, good to go. It's all you need. Thank you guys, tune in next time.